This ReadyMag Advanced tutorial will guide you through the process of creating a hamburger menu. We will show you two types of menu animations, also highlighting lesser-known features of the tool. Here is a desktop navigation bar. To create a mobile hamburger menu with the same items, take the following steps. Switch to the mobile viewport. Copy the navigation bar widgets. Note that the menu text should form a single widget. Then hide the original menu text from the mobile viewport. That will help not to mess up the desktop version while working on the mobile. Edit the copied widget as you like. If you prefer, change not only the styling of the widget, but also the text itself. Pick an icon for the mobile menu using the Shape widget. ReadyMag offers a vast selection of options here. Set it to appear on all pages to automatically place a widget on every page of the project. Any changes to the On All Pages widget will appear identically on the other pages of your project. Fix to the corner you prefer. Enable Above Pages if you'd like the icon to stay constantly visible on scroll and float over the pages when scrolling and navigating. Add Opacity or Move animations to the menu text and make a menu icon a trigger for this animation. Add the Self and the background rectangle as other triggers to hide the menu after the user has made the selection. Press shift Control c to copy the animation, select the menu background rectangle, and press shift Control v to paste the animation onto the rectangle. We will discuss the animation options later. Fix the menu text and the menu background to the corner to enable it to stay on the same spot on scroll. Enable On All Pages and Above Pages for both. Make sure that the menu icon is above both of the menu widgets in the widget list. Check the preview. To create a hamburger menu in the desktop version, the way to go is pretty much the same, only you don't need to copy the menu text. Instead, Create it from scratch. Set up links to separate pages using the number notation. We will discuss link settings later. Go to the Project Settings menu and change the project navigation to horizontal. Hide navigation arrows to allow the user to move through the project pages only with a menu. To put the menu in its proper place on the left side of the screen, we'll later switch on Scale Layout. But it's easier to fine-tune animations before Scale Layout is on, so we'll delay that for now. There are two main ways to animate a hamburger menu in ReadyMag, using Opacity animations or using Move animations. In the case of Move animations, move the background and the menu items beyond the visible part of the project. Then set the animation duration and the movement in pixels. Also set an easing, say Ease Out. Then turn a menu word into a trigger for the menu. Enable Scale Layout to preview the animation. Now let's change Move for Opacity to check the other option out. Place the menu on the spot it will appear on. Add the opacity animation, set a duration. If you choose not to opt for scale layout in your project, fix the menu to the corner you prefer and switch on On All Pages and Above Pages. You'll also need to make the background rectangle bigger. Fix the word menu to the same corner. We'll use scale layout. The result will look like this. The choice between opacity and move is up to you.
If you are using Opacity, consider the Hide in Editor toggle. It removes the widget that is animated on Trigger from view, allowing you to hone the parts of the project that are behind the menu. The widget will stay in view in the widget bar. It will also appear in the editor when you click on the animation trigger. The toggle appears only for the opacity animations starting from zero opacity. Let's check how to customize links for the menu. Link styles in ReadyMag offer three options, Link, Hover, and Current. Current is especially useful for the hamburger menu, allowing you to show users which page they're currently on, say, using a different link color. Once your hamburger menu is ready, consider reusing it for further projects by setting up a template. To save the page with a menu, select the option Include on All Pages. Now you know how to set up a hamburger menu. Find more tutorials and tips at readymag.com learn.